WNEM TV5 News Update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jason Fielder. Among our top stories tonight, we are learning more about a deadly tornado that ripped through parts of northern Michigan. State police confirming this morning that two people are dead. As of Saturday morning, one person remains unaccounted for. Both victims, who were in their 70s, lived in the Nottingham Forest Mobile Home Park. That park sustained serious damage from the tornado. The Otsego County Fire Chief says around 95% of the park is destroyed. State police have established a hotline for missing persons. If you need to report someone missing, call 989-705-3780. When the tornado touched down, many Gaylord residents were going about their afternoon as normal, and little did they know it would be anything but normal. One woman shopping at Hobby Lobby when the roof was ripped off the building, her hair blown back by the gale. Brittany Gunderson was shopping when she got an alert about the tornado on her phone. I turn around and I literally watched the left back side of Hobby Lobby, like the roof came off and it just literally tore through the entire back of the store. Like I watched that tornado, like looked at it and it just ate the entire back of the store. Like many families in Gaylord right now, the Gundersons are without power. Thankfully, their home was untouched by the tornado, but homes just across the street, including many friends, were leveled to the ground. Today was the ribbon cutting and dedication for the pavilion named in honor of our friend and longtime TV5 anchor Sam Merrill. Sam loved baseball, so in his memory, his family and friends initiated the Sam Merrill Memorial Pavilion Project at the North Saginaw Township Little League Complex. They started it back in 2016, the year he passed away. The family says the project faced delays from worker shortages and COVID, but despite the obstacles, the family hopes the memorial serves as a way for the community to know who Sam was. He had an in internal guidance system that was ethical and it was pure. I don't want to make him into a hero, but he just he just was engineered that way. And uh, I'm proud to be his dad. And I'm proud to have this day. I'm proud to have worked alongside your son for many, many years, Mr. Merrill. We still miss him a lot here. Now here's John with a look at your forecast. Thank you, Jason. Let's take a look at the forecast for the rest of tonight. Looks like there still will be some shower chances as we continue on throughout the rest of your Saturday evening. Overnight temperatures will be dropping us back down right here into the 40s. Gonna have some lower 40s the further north you go. Even a rumble of thunder. We definitely can't rule that out too, but it looks to be more isolated. If anything, winds generally light tonight. We'll keep that out of the north at about 5 to 10. Now there still could be a lingering shower, especially for the morning hours on Sunday. I think general consensus will be for us to start to dry things out and clouds to decrease as we go past lunchtime into the afternoon. But uh, behind a cold frontal boundary, it's going to be a little bit cooler tomorrow, at least compared to what we've been used to. It looks like we will have a good mix of some 60s, even some 50s possible the further north of the Saginaw Bay you go uh, by your Sunday afternoon. But there we go into the seven day forecast past tonight into early Sunday morning. It looks like we will get a few dry days to start off the brand new week. Monday looking brighter 62. We're in the upper 60s by Tuesday. Better rain chances to return midweek. It looks like Wednesday will be a little bit of a soaking rain 66 and then we'll carry a few more shower chances into the beginning of Memorial Day weekend and your first one five weather center. I'm meteorologist John Gross. Remember to tune into WNEM TV five on air and online 24 seven for the latest news, weather and information.